This presentation is to introduce MetricStream M7 third-party management application for high-performing organizations. Throughout this presentation, you will see that the user experience is engaging, efficient, and personalized, helping you to strengthen visibility into third-party risk and compliance. The MetricStream M7 third-party management application enables a comprehensive process to identify, assess, mitigate, and monitor third-party risks, as well as to manage compliance. The app streamlines third-party information gathering, due diligence, onboarding, real-time monitoring, risk and control assessment, issue tracking, and action management. It also helps in assigning tasks and documenting interactions with the third party. Let's see how the application enables companies to gain valuable intelligence and visibility into third party relationships. Today, we'll be going through MetricStream's full third party management lifecycle. With a single view of the third party and providing business insight with our reporting where we can report on all information within the MetricStream repository. Today, what we'll be going through is stage one, which will be your ability to add a new third party using a dynamic risk assessment. The dynamic risk assessment will allow you to use rules to send out specific due diligence, questionnaires, and certifications to your third parties based on the rules set from that inherent risk assessment based on scores, etc. We allow for approval processes and review cycles through all stages of our workflow. MetricStream workflow capabilities, which will allow you to create a workflow based on your user's needs. After you collect the appropriate information from your third party, you can go through an approval process and or look for intelligence from Dow Jones or BitSight or any other third party content providers that you may be using. All this information will be provided in a qualification process to your internal user to make a final determination on whether or not you want to do business with that third party. After that, you'll be going to work management, which will allow scheduling of risk assessments internally, performance scorecards, risk intelligence, which are checks against Dow Jones, audits, you can continuously do due diligence. Within our product, the first thing that you'll see is that a third party will have or internal user will have their landing page. In this personal page, you get to set up what type of capabilities that you want to see. In this case, this user wants to see a third party by category and criticality. All this information is drillable. So if I wanted to see all my high risk third parties for anti-bribery and corruption, all I need to do is click on it and will automatically drill down. We also have what's called hover cards. The hover cards will give us all pertinent information about our third parties and this information is actionable. So if I wanted to see all of the issues that were tied to a specific third party or all of the responses to a questionnaires, I can go ahead and I can click on those and I can get detailed information about any of the third party's issues or about the qualification process that they went through. This is a survey that this third party completed on anti-bribery and corruption as an example. I can see all of their answers, all of their attachments, and all their comments in addition to the score that was tied or rating that was tied to that assessment. We can get to that quickly and easily from any of our graphs. We can add a new third party pretty quickly just by saying I want to add a new third party um, by a specific purchasing organization, for example, for different area, a different geography. Based on the purchasing organization that we select and the relationship, which is the types of products or services that are being offered, this will determine the types of due diligence questionnaires that could potentially be sent out to a third party. We can ask key questions like the total amount spent or the countries that we're doing business in. These countries will have the CPI ratings tied to them and this will help determine the third party's score and how risky they are to us. Based on those answers, we also can have some questions at the bottom of the screen here, which is our inherent risk assessment that will determine next steps. Based on the questions that we have here, which are configurable and the workflow goes through, we'll be able to ask the appropriate questions to trigger due diligence questionnaires to your third parties. If I come back out to my main screen, I can look at my due diligence. So all of these third parties have gone through due diligence and what they've seen is, is that based on the answers of that inherent risk assessment, this company received eight different assessments because what we have set up here is that based on the answers of that inherent risk assessment, different questionnaires will be sent out. 
In this case, this third party received a information security questionnaire. They also received an anti-bribery and corruption, an illegal and a financial due diligence questionnaire. All of this was determined based on that initial assessment. Some key things to look at. In our overview screen, we're going to be able to easily see the third parties by rating. So after that initial risk assessment, we're going to be able to determine how many third parties are high risk, medium risk, and low risk. I can do this by third parties by category or criticality, much like we saw before. We can also do it by ratings by risk type and third parties by criticality. In addition to that, we can look at a third party summary report. This third party summary report will give me a list of all of my third parties. All of my third parties, I can go ahead and I can scroll over and I can see some detailed information using the hover cards. In this example, we can see that I have three risk alerts. These are three Dow Jones risk alerts that something, some negative news has been found. We can also see the risks that are tied to the individual third party or the issues, if there's any issues tied to the third party quickly and easily. In addition to that, we can do some quick and easy reporting on our third parties using MetricStream's reporting capabilities. You can see that we have some previous charts that were created and I can just come here and I can add a new chart. Um, maybe I want to do it by rating and I want to create a pie chart and I want to do it by third party tier, current rating, previous score. You can do any of these and then we would just go ahead and build the chart. It's going to go through that data and we're going to see how many of those were medium risk, low risk, and high risk. Without any kind of configuration on the user side, you can just go ahead and click on the pie chart and you can see all of those high risk third parties in those group of third parties. In addition to that, you can use your hover cards. Your hover cards will allow you to see detailed information about your third parties. If I wanted to see detailed information about this third party, I can go ahead and quickly and easily drill down into it at any point and I can see my single view of my third party, including my relationships, my due diligence assessments, my artifacts, which would include my contracts or my SOWs. All of this information can easily be tied here. We can also see this information from a tree view. So I can see all of my third parties on the left side. And what this will do is it'll show me all of the third parties that have been newly requested and all the current third parties that I have. I can open up the different detailed information and I can see all the relationships. I can see the responses to the different surveys and the risks and if there was any risk alert. Another excellent way of seeing this information is what we call our data explorer. Our data explorer allows us to see all of our third parties and drill down into the third party's key capabilities. We can see all of the third parties. We can see all the ones that are newly requested and I can select in this case Acme Services. When I look at Acme Services, we can see that they have one risk alert that's tied to it. I can open up that risk alert right here, or I can look at the different risks that are tied to this company. I can drill down into any of these risks quickly and easily, and I can continue to drill down. The next thing I'm going to do is go into the third party portal. I logged into the third party portal. The third party, when they receive an email, will be directed to their portal or directly into their assessment if they've been sent out an assessment. In this case, we can see the third party can update their profile information just by clicking on their profile update. Here they can update key information such as their address, their business information, their bank details, or update or upload any kind of artifacts that they see fit, like an insurance certificate or a contract or any other type of artifacts that you'd like them to upload. This will go through a full life cycle. The next thing that you can see that they can do pretty easily is they can go in, answer an assessment. In this case, they're answering a business continuity management assessment. You can see that there's multiple different answers. They can add comments and there's multiple different sections in this situation. They can add attachments. They can use multiple choice and we can have scoring tied to these assessments that will go to your internal user in addition to keep track of how much they've completed. I've logged back in as an internal third party business user. We can also see that we can check our risk alerts 
for third-party content providers, and we can also see all issues tied to our third parties. Thank you for joining us. 